In a quiet, isolated home in the countryside, teenage sisters Su Mai and Su Yon return after spending time in a mental institution, still grappling with the trauma of their mother's death. The girls are met with an unwelcoming home. Their father is distant and cold, while their stepmother, Yunju, is controlling and cruel. Su Mai, the older sister, is fiercely protective of her shy and fearful younger sister, Su Yon, who becomes the primary target of Yunju's hostility. The house itself, shadowy and foreboding, seems filled with tension, secrets, and an underlying sense of dread. As the sisters settle back into their home, strange and disturbing occurrences begin to plague them. Sumai experiences haunting visions, glimpses of a ghostly figure in dark hallways, and eerie noises coming from unseen corners of the house. Suyon, too, is tormented by unexplained bruises and frightening apparitions, which seem to grow more intense with each passing day. Sumai becomes convinced that the malevolent force is connected to their stepmother, whom she suspects is hiding something terrible. The conflict escalates as Sumai's anger toward Yunju builds. She believes that Yunju is not only cruel but dangerous and abusive towards Suyon. Tensions boil over in a series of confrontations, with Sumai accusing Yunju of unspeakable cruelty, while Yunju insists that Sumai's behavior is erratic and unstable. Their father remains eerily silent, unwilling or unable to intervene, leaving Sumai alone in her quest to protect Suyon. Sumai's desperate attempts to save her sister and uncover the truth only deepen the unsettling atmosphere as reality and delusion begin to blur. In a climactic twist, the truth unravels in a chilling revelation. Su Yon is dead and has been so since before Sumai's return home. Sumai has been suffering from dissociative identity disorder, embodying both herself and her perception of her abusive stepmother, Yunju. The terrifying confrontations, ghostly apparitions and bruises all, were manifestations of Sumai's fractured psyche, created to cope with the guilt and trauma of her sister's death in an accident that she feels responsible for. Sumai's mind created the alternate persona of Yunju as an outlet for her guilt and anger, while Suyon's spirit lingers as a haunting reminder of her tragic end. In a haunting conclusion, Sumai is left alone, devastated and broken, as her father prepares to take her back to the institution. As she leaves the house, we see a glimpse of Yunju, now real, moving through the darkened rooms suggesting that the sinister influence of the house and the spirits of the past will continue to haunt whoever remains within. A Tale of Two Sisters is a chilling exploration of grief, guilt, and mental illness woven into a supernatural horror that leaves us questioning the boundaries between the living and the dead, and the reality and illusion created by trauma. It's a haunting story that reminds us of the powerful hold the past can have on the present and the lengths the mind will go to protect itself from unbearable truths.